Clifford takes a walk. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth. This is my dog Clifford, and these are some of my classmates. We're waiting for it to be saved across the street so we can start our school day. Our teacher, Miss Tate, has a treat for us today. This is Miss Patel from Safe Kids, Miss Tate tells us. She knows everything about road safety. We're going on a field trip with a surprise ending. On our way, Miss Patel is going to help us practice the rules of being a safe walker. Everyone is, is excited, especially Clifford. Miss Patel goes over the safe walking tips with us before we leave. Miss Tate tells us to find a walking partner. I chose Clifford. Then she tells us we have to make a few stops along the way to help with our surprise. I can't wait to find out what it is. What's the number one rule for being a safe walker, Miss Patel asks us before we leave. We all know this one. When crossing the street, it's always a must to walk along with an adult that you trust. We were walking on the sidewalk when Clifford sees his best friend Buster across the street. He's so happy that he runs out into the road to say hi. Clifford, I call out. It's not safe to run out in the road. That's right, Miss Patel says as Clifford comes back. Does anyone remember the next rule? I do. Look left, right, left, and meet the driver's eye to make sure you're noticed before you cross by. Miss Patel says I did a good job. Our first stop is at the grocery store. The clerk hands Miss Tate a bag. I wonder what's in the bag. Is everyone ready to go? Miss Patel asks the class. Yes, we say. Clifford is so excited he keeps wagging his tail back and forth. But when we come to the street corner, we all stop, even Clifford. Who remembers what role we were following? Miss Patel asks. Our friend Sam raises his hand. It's best not to cross in the middle of the block, go to the corner and use the crosswalk. This is our next stop, Miss Tate announces as we come to the sports store down the block. I wonder what she needs to get there, I whisper to Clifford. He sniffs the ground for clues. The store clerk hands Miss Tate two shopping bags. She gives one bag to Nate and one bag to Rosa to carry. Don't look inside the bags, Miss Tate says. You don't want to ruin your surprise. Just then, Nate accidentally drops his bag. A yellow rubber ball rolls out into the street. Clifford wants to play with the ball, so he runs after it. Clifford, no, I cry. Remember the rule? It's up to you to make the right call. Don't dart in the street to chase that ball. Great job, Emily Elizabeth, Miss Patel says. Our last stop is across the street at the pet store. Who knows what to do at a corner without a traffic light, Miss Patel asks. Before anyone can answer, Clifford smells something and puts out a paw across the street. Clifford, stay here, we yell. Wherever you walk, it's important that you look for cars that are turning and backing up too. That's right, Miss Patel says after Clifford is back on the sidewalk. At the pet store, the clerk hands Miss Tate one last bag. Are we going to find out what the surprise is now? I ask. Very soon, she says. After a few minutes, we reach another corner. There's a lot of traffic, but no traffic light. We wait and wait and wait for cars to stop. Miss Patel, when will those cars stop so we can cross the street to get our surprise? Gabriel asks. Suddenly, Clifford noticed something in the grass and starts sniffing. Of course, Miss Tate says. There's supposed to be a stop sign here. It must have fallen over. Stop signs are big and red, Miss Patel says. They act like a red light. Drivers know they have to stop when they see one. But without a stop sign, how will the cars know to stop? Just then, Clifford picks up the stop sign with his mouth and walks over to the corner. Great idea, Clifford, Miss Patel says. Now that big red Clifford is holding the big red stop sign, the drivers know exactly what to do. The driver of the delivery truck stops and everyone can safely cross the street. Clifford saved the day. Welcome to your surprise picnic lunch in the park, Miss Tate says. You are now all super safe walkers, especially Clifford, Miss Patel says. We eat lunch and play with the toys from the sports store. There's even a yummy treat for Clifford. This is the best surprise field trip ever.